In this video, we're going to take a look at solving linear equations, which have fractions in them. Now, we could solve these linear equations one of two different ways. One way, which we'll do first, is following the same pattern we've seen before. Balancing through the equal sign, we take care of the addition or subtraction first. So we would get rid of the seven and a half, the seven half negatives with seven halves positive on both sides. Pro seven halves positives and negatives will subtract out to zero, leaving just three fourths of x equal to, and here's where the problem might get tricky as we get a common denominator by multiplying the first fraction by three over three, which will give us twenty-one over six. And so what we're really adding is five sixths plus twenty one sixth, and that's going to give us twenty six sixth. We can actually reduce the twenty six sixth, so let's go ahead and do that by dividing by two to give us thirteen thirds. Three fourths x equals thirteen thirds. Now, to get the x alone, the three-fourths is multiplied by x, and so we'll divide both sides by three-fourths. You may recall that the way we divide with fractions is we multiply by the reciprocal. So we'll take the thirteen-thirds, and we'll multiply by the reciprocal of three-fourths, which is four-thirds. Now, multiplying together straight across, we end up with x is equal to fifty-two over nine. Now, this method required a lot of comfort with fractions, finding common denominators, remembering how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. This may not be the ideal way to go about solving this problem. Rather, we can make this much simpler using a process doing the same problem of identifying the least common denominator of the entire problem and multiplying both sides of the equation by each term by the least common denominator. Looking at four, two, and six, we can see the least common denominator here is twelve. And what we'll do is we'll multiply each term on both sides by twelve. And the reason for this is we are going to be able to reduce these twelves with the denominators. Twelve over four reduces to three. We have three times three x now, which is nine x. Minus twelve over two reduces to six. We have six times seven, which is forty two. Equals twelve over six reduces to two, and we have five times two, which is ten. Notice now that we've done that, we've gotten rid of all the fractions, and we can focus on solving this simple two-step equation. First, we get rid of forty-two negatives with forty-two positives. We now have nine x is equal to fifty-two. Finally, we get x alone by dividing both sides by nine, and x is equal to this fraction, fifty-two over nine. The second method of taking the LCD and multiplying every term by the twelve is going to be our preferred method to solve these problems with fractions. By clearing out the fractions, it will make it into a problem that is much easier to solve. 